My name is Tenet Burr, and today I'm going to be talking about the Facebook Capture the Flag platform. I am nine years old, I am in fourth grade, and I like to code, and I really like to play games. 2014 was my first DEF CON for me. I like everything security, jailbreaking, fuzzing, sniffing, and all that other stuff. Capture the Flag. What is it? Capture the Flag is a game where you try to compete against others, teams or individuals, then you try to get the most points. Most importantly, you try to learn something and you try to have fun while doing it. Flags are points. Flags can be a simple answer as in quizzes. Here's an example. What is the binary of the word me? The flag's answer can be the binary below it. Flags can also be found or captured by completing a complex task. For example, you can be digging through a PCAP file, packet capture, you can be identifying some logon credentials, and you can log into a website using those said logon credentials, and then finally run an SQL injection against the database and try to obtain the flag. What makes a good flag? A good flag is hard to guess, it's unique within the game, and it's supposed to be long and random. If it's not, one of those, someone can easily guess it and get points for it. May 2016 is when Facebook releases their Capture the Flag framework as open source. It supports both Jeopardy and King the Hill style CTFs. It's easy to use, mostly inexpensive, and it's excellent for schools and teachers. And you can also use this for stuff besides security if you want to tell someone another thing, maybe history, maybe something about art, anything. You can install it using the readme file in the GitHub repository. I used a non-vagrant install with VirtualBox Ubuntu 14.04 on my VirtualBox. Then I use Mac OS El, Cap El Capitan as my host system. It's basically only really four commands to install. The admin panel has the ability to administrate the game, do announcements, set up levels, flags, quizzes, and bases, and control the game timer, and you can manage the team. But most importantly, change the admin password. How about some global thermonuclear war? Let me pull a demo. Here I have it running. So I'll log into the admin. I created another admin account because the first admin account password was too much. Here's the game's configuration. The, you can ri risk re the game, you can log in, you can configure login, you can edit the game, and you can control the game timer, how long you want to do it for. Here you can make announcements. So, I can say, hello. This will later appear when I log in as a user. Here's a quiz level I already have set up. I'll show you how to add one. It's very simple. You can just put in a timer, I mean title. You can put it as, how about, where is this? You can put the quiz's actual question. You can select the country to be auto, which will choose a random country for you. It will later be displayed on the game board. You can also put a hint if you like. You can also put in a hint penalty. I'll put it as 10 points. Here are categories. If you have one topic, you can group it in the one category if it's too messy. And here's the flags. It's kind of like the quizzes. Title, and description, the flag answer, points, and bonuses. Bases are really for King the Hill style CTFs, and I really haven't gone to use King the Hill yet. Here are countries that you can enable if you would like. You can customize teams here. Logs is where everything shows up and all that. So let's begin the game. Here we have it started. Now let's log, let's show you the game board. Here's what we have up already. Here's a quiz, flags, and quiz. Now I'll show you uh, what it looks like from a Teams account, not an admin. Here's what it looks like as a user. What is the binary? Can you freehand? 
this is what it looks like. Let's show you what it looks like when you get it wrong. You see, that's what it looks like when you get it wrong. When you set up a quiz level or flags, the most important thing to do is to make sure you hit yes and you actually make sure you have the thing selected. As for me, I always forget. You have to make sure you turn it on over here. A bunch of people forget that and it's one of the most important things to do. Mostly everything in here is has an on and off button. You have to make sure you turn it on in order for people to do this. So here's what it looks like when you register an account. You put in your name and email, team name and password. So when I did the announcements earlier, I put it in, you can see the announcements I made right here. And if you would like to see what's on the leaderboard, you can here. Currently, admin is lead, and this is at zero points. And I got right. That is basically what Capture the Flag looks like when you set it up. If you want to set it up, you have to go to the GitHub repository. Here, it will tell you where it's github.com slash facebook slash fbcds. Here's all the files, and it will tell you how to install it.